This past week marked Rocket League's fifth anniversary and to celebrate we got treated to possibly the worst in-game event today. A two week event in which we can earn in-game currency in the form of balloons. To buy recycled items that let's face it, 99% of the community will never buy and equip because they simply couldn't care less about them. We got to see the return of two fan favourite game modes in Spy Crush and Heat Seeker, for what feels like only the 10th time in the last couple of months. Oh, and they also brought out a Fancy Pants Octane decal, which based on this little infographic, if only 1% of the total player base purchased it, Cyanix would have made 750 grand off it. But this is just the start, so let's take a look at my brutally honest review of Rocket League, the first 5 years. Rocket League released on the 7th of July 2015, and immediately gained the attention of millions of PS4 players as it released for free on PlayStation Plus. It's funny I mentioned Psyonix and their recycled anniversary items a moment ago, because come to think of it, this game that we all came to know and love is pretty much just recycled SART BC. Oh, <laughs> the irony! But speaking of which, with supersonic acrobatic rocket power battle cars having such a small player base, many of us didn't exactly know what we were getting ourselves into when downloading Rocket League for the very first time. But as it was a free game all about balls and cars, it made people want to give it a go. And give it a go they f did. Over the years, 75 million people have played this incredibly toxic, yet beautifully addicting titan of a soccer game. I get the pun, but it's football, damn it. Football! Fun fact, the term soccer is actually an English term used for the sport of football. Not an American term like everyone always seems to believe. So can we move on from that shitty argument now? Myself along with millions of you loaded the game up for the very first time here in the original 2015 soundtrack, and with keeping every single default setting, camera shake and all, headed into our very first game of Rocket League, and from that very moment, we all knew it was a wrap. To this day, after putting in over 5000 hours and having countless conversations with god knows how many different people, there's still no one definitive reason as to why Rocket League is so addictingly fun. It could be something as simple as the games only being 5 minutes long, the competitiveness, the customization of your cars, or even something a bit more in depth like the fact that it's a physics based game which gives you ultimate freedom of movement within those 4 walls. It is however all subjective, so it's impossible to say what truly brings people back. But as is with most things we find addictive, Rocket League isn't all good, and Cyanix have been playing a dangerous game with its community that has been to some degree carrying this game on its back for the past 5 years. Upon releasing this infographic for Rocket League's 5th anniversary, Cyanix shot themselves in the foot by revealing their historical quote unquote big moments to us. Because according to them, we haven't had a big moment that has added permanent content to the game for over 2 years. The last big piece of permanent content added to the game was tournaments dating back to April 2018, and even then that released half broken and has never truly been fixed. And if we go even further back to their previous piece of permanent content, we're looking at Dropshot which was released over a full year earlier than that, in March 2017. Now don't get me wrong, I'm well aware that adding full crossplay is huge for the game, but it isn't content. Yes it allows everyone of all platforms to play together, but that's not an excuse to not be adding real content to Rocket League. If we have full crossplay, then where is the built in creative mode to give players on all platforms equal ability to create content for you if you're not going to bother giving it to us yourselves? You could literally sit back with your feet up and watch your community go to work and create thousands of cool ideas in the blink of an eye. Community created content should be shared by the entire community, not just by a handful that can actually get the multiplayer workshop maps to actually work using two to three pieces of third party software. Yes this year we got the Forbidden Temple map, and the Heat Seeker game mode, and yes I understand that maybe development could be tricky as the game is physics based, but Lethemir literally creates maps and modes week in week out by himself, as has Cinderblock, who has literally created entirely new mechanics in some of his mods, so why can't a full team of professional devs do the same? Tournaments have been broken for 2 years, custom training isn't receiving its much needed update, we haven't had a permanent refreshing creative idea added for over 3 years but I think that's the entire issue here. I think it all dates back to when Rumble, Hoops, Snow Day and especially Dropshot were all added. 
I seem to recall Dropshot not being very well received at all, and funnily enough it just so happens to be the last mode we see for over two years. I will say at least this year with the return of Spy Crush and the release of Heatseeker, Cyanix do seem to be somewhat on the right track with adding limited time modes. Or so I thought until the 5th anniversary event was announced with literally nothing new. Your community is crying out for more support, more content and generally more money put into the game, so please listen to each and every one of their voices. So now that I've got a lot of the negative points out of the way, Cyanix have created a truly phenomenal game with Rocket League. It's probably the most consistently fun game I have ever played and I've been playing video games for over 25 years. The gameplay is fast and has a beautiful fluidity about it, which naturally also makes it one of the most entertaining games to watch being played competitively. And as much as I've heard about communication maybe not being the greatest between Cyanix and the orgs involved in Professional Rocket League, the recent announcement on the new format with more Rocket League to watch, more money to be earned etc etc, you can't help but feel like they're finally learning from past mistakes and turning a new leaf with RLCS X. I shouldn't need to be saying this when the game is already turning 5, but Cyanix truly have an incredible foundation to go along with their insane community to turn Rocket League into an all time great sport game. They just need to let their creative juices flow and not be scared of community backlash if they add something to the game that isn't well received, because at the end of the day, you can never please everyone. But by just showing us that you still care, showing us that you support your own game, showing us new content and on a regular basis, you will earn the respect and backing from us all that surely any development team could ever wish for. I do truly love Rocket League, but it pains me seeing it essentially being neglected by its creators for what seems like an eternity now. I once said in a video that there's never really a time where I don't want to play Rocket League, but in recent months I've noticed myself playing less and less. Don't get me wrong, I still play a lot of Rocket League, but I'm noticing that I'm not picking up my controller as often as I used to. There's so much that could be added that would make me want to play more than ever, so I'm going to list off a few of my own ideas. Fresh new game modes, racing, golf, destruction derby, there's literally countless ideas floating around out there. How about a creative mode where we can create maps, modes and other unlimited amounts of content? A new training system with revamped mutators and settings. In-game promoted tournaments with prizes giving players of all skill levels something to compete for. A revamped garage with more colours and customization options. Or even party and mini games which could tie in perfectly with the creative mode. These are just some of the ideas I have and I'm just one person. There are literally millions of people who play Rocket League and no doubt have some incredible ideas too. Maybe one day some of these will be implemented, maybe not. Maybe you could be more transparent with your community on whether you actually intend to support this game, maybe not, so I guess the rest is up to you Psyonix. I sincerely love this game and I don't want to see it just fade away because its community, growing more and more impatient, aren't seeing Rocket League receive the love it deserves. So my summary of this game, Rocket League is a fast paced physics based car football game with a super high mechanical skill ceiling which gives players plenty to aim for when trying to improve. As enjoyable as Rocket League is to play and watch, unfortunately it has seemingly been left neglected by its creators for prolonged periods of time during its first 5 years. Cyanix seemingly switched focused when they saw just how much we were willing to spend on keys and now credits, with every update bringing out new crate series, blueprint series, rocket pass or items in the in game store. It almost feels from an outside perspective like 4 fifths of the development team reside in the design department, because it's honestly quite hard to see what else is being worked on when the lack of new content is so apparent. Last year Epic Games bought Cyanix Studios and I, along with the rest of the community, are hoping and praying that this will lead to more money being put into development and support, and more manpower if needed to create consistently new content, which will in turn increase the currently diminishing longevity of Rocket League. One thing to note before signing off is that we have been teased to a large update dropping later on in the summer, so fingers crossed it will be a big step in the right direction and not just another update that falls short of expectation. <sighs> That's all from me in today's video. 
If you got this far into it, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.